Why don't rich people ever play hide and seek? Because good luck hiding when everyone's looking for you. Welcome folks to a journey of financial enlightenment sprinkled with a dash of humor. Today, we're unraveling the mysterious world of the wealthy, delving into their secrets to financial comfort. From investing early to developing a wealthy mindset, we've got 10 golden keys from the vaults of the rich and prosperous. So keep your notepads ready because we're about to unlock some serious wisdom. All right, let's dive into the 10 keys to financial comfort. Number 10, start investing early, like in kindergarten. Just kidding, but you get the point. Taking the first step towards investing at a young age can have a profound impact on your financial future. Think of it as planting a seed. The earlier you plant, the more time it has to grow. This is where the magic of compound interest comes in. Your money multiplies over time, creating a snowball effect. So start early and let your money work for you. Remember, the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the dividends. Number nine, diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Imagine a hen guarding her eggs. If a predator strikes, all could be lost in one fell swoop. Similarly, putting all your financial eggs in one investment basket is a risky move. Spreading your investments across different asset classes can help mitigate risk and maximize returns. It's like creating a safety net for your wealth. So whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, or commodities, variety is your friend. So spread those eggs around, folks. Number eight, live below your means. Yes, that means no gold-plated yachts. Now don't frown, it's not as grim as it sounds. It's about being smart with your resources. It's not about pinching every penny, but rather spending wisely. Consider this, what's more important, looking rich or being rich? By spending less than you earn and saving the difference, you're paving your own path to wealth. It's a simple yet powerful strategy. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep. Number seven, prioritize financial education because money doesn't come with instructions. You see, wealth isn't just about earning and spending. It's about understanding the financial world we live in. It's about learning the language of money, knowing the difference between assets and liabilities, comprehending the power of compound interest. It's about staying updated with market trends, economic shifts, and investment strategies. Because the more you learn, the better you'll be at making your money work for you. So stay curious, stay wealthy. Number six, create multiple income streams because two is better than one. Imagine having a safety net woven with threads of different income sources. It's about balance, spreading the risk, and capitalizing on opportunities. Whether it's a side hustle, investments, or rental income, each stream adds to your financial pool. It's like planting different crops in your money garden. Some may thrive, some may not, but the variety ensures a steady harvest. Remember, don't put all your income eggs in one basket either. Number five, make money work for you. It's about time money did some heavy lifting. Picture this, you're lounging on your favorite beach, sipping a cool drink, and your bank balance is growing. That's passive income for you. It's the magic of earning without actively working for it. Investments, royalties, real estate income, all ticking away in the background. It's like having a diligent army of dollar bills marching tirelessly towards financial comfort. So sit back, relax, and let your money do the work. Number four, protect your wealth. It's not just about making money, but also about keeping it safe. Now, let's talk insurance. It's like a parachute. You may never need it, but when you do, you'll be glad it's there. It's a fundamental layer of protection for your hard-earned assets, and it's not just insurance. A well-thought-out risk management strategy can act as a shield, safeguarding your wealth from potential market downturns, unforeseen calamities, or even legal disputes. Remember, a safe wealth is a happy wealth. Number three, surround yourself with successful people. Yes, success is contagious. You've heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, it holds true. Surrounding yourself with successful individuals can inspire you, challenge you, and open your mind to new perspectives. Their habits, their strategies, their mindset, it all rubs off. It's like catching a cold, but a good one. A wealth cold, if you will. So choose your company wisely, folks. Number two, Set financial goals. What's a journey without a destination? The path to financial comfort is no different. To navigate this road, you need a roadmap, and that's where financial goals come in. Clear, achievable targets, whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or starting a business. These goals guide your financial decisions, keeping you on track and motivated. They're the lighthouses in your financial sea, guiding you towards your destination. Remember, 
A goal without a plan is just a wish. And the number one key to financial comfort is, develop a wealthy mindset. Money is as much about mindset as it is about numbers. You see, a wealthy mindset is not about having an insatiable desire for riches. It's about understanding the power of money and how to leverage it effectively. It's about embracing abundance, not scarcity. It's about seeing opportunities, not obstacles. It's a mindset that views money as a tool, not a goal. So folks, think rich and be rich. There you have it, the 10 keys to financial comfort. Fancy a quick recap? Let's do it. Start investing early because the early bird catches the worm. Diversify your portfolio to spread the risk. Live below your means because less is more, especially for your bank account. Prioritize financial education because knowledge is the real wealth. Create multiple income streams because who doesn't want more money? Make your money work for you because you've worked hard enough. Protect your wealth, it's your fortress after all. Surround yourself with successful people, they're the best teachers. Set financial goals, they're your roadmap to wealth. And last but definitely not least, develop a wealthy mindset. Because it all starts in the mind, doesn't it? If you found these keys useful, give us a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, wealth is not about how much money you have, but how you use it. Thanks for watching and stay wealthy, folks.